Hey guys, Jason Samkoviak here, Samco Workshop. Today we're going to talk about a review on my 2022 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. And uh, this is a 16,635 mile review, 16,600 miles on her. And, uh, sorry, black flies out here. I'm out here making videos for my Patreon channel and my uh, traditional bow hunting wilderness YouTube channel. So I'm out here doing videos, but uh, perfect time to talk about this truck. So, like I said, I got this in December, end of December, and uh, it is July now, so it is seven months old, and it's got uh, uh, almost 17,000 miles on it. And uh, what have I done for it first, right off the bat, is uh, I did put on skid plates. I put uh, uh, Iron Man 4x4 four four full skid plates that go all the way back to the uh, uh, crossover for the exhaust, so they go all the way back here. Right to that crossover of the exhaust and cover that as well too. You can see it on there. Uh, so good protection all the way around for that setup. And works really good. So I put those on there. And I also put on the Goodyear Wrangler Ultra Terrains, which I've never used before. I'm testing these tires out. I'm a huge Falcon Wild Peak fan. i um, had them on nine different vehicles and love them. These have been doing really well. I bought these because uh, they had really good reviews. And they also have the deepest tread pattern that you could get at 18.30 seconds um, on a 16-inch tire, which is incredible. And uh, so these are E-rated. They are a... 265 75 16 uh, which makes them an inch taller and half inch wider than what stock tires are on this Toyota Tacoma and they are e-rated so they are heavier duty but this is a perfect example as well too um, to show you what the advantage of because the Falcons have them too but you have your top lugs and you have your side lugs on here too look at my back one okay now I've kept this in two-wheel drive hold on so I just came out of this trail right here and side-by-sides up here destroy everything, okay? Side-by-side um, -side vehicles, they just wreck and destroy every trail. And that's okay because, you know what, they're allowed to. They're on most of, you know, these are. this is actually an ATV trail, so he's allowed to be here. But they trash every dirt road that they're not supposed to be on. They beat up everything. Um, they're, they're pretty brutal. Well... They had a big, one of them got stuck on the other side of this hill where it drops off over there and got stuck pretty good. While I was coming up through there, well, I started getting stuck too. I was still just in two-wheel drive. I could have put in four-wheel drive, but I didn't, and I turned off traction control and worked my way through. Notice what these side lugs do for you. Notice that the depth that I was sinking in that sand did not get that super low because of these side lugs, okay? These side lugs, I gotta clean them now, but you can see here how these side lugs help when you get into those scenarios. Look at this one over here too. Um, you know, those side lugs that are on the tires work just like your lugs on top and grab that on the side. Look at that, how they, you can, I mean, perfect example of how they work to help you get out of places that you're stuck in and things that you're in trouble for. So it works fantastic. Uh, and the Falcons have them. A lot of tires have them now, and there is good reason. But this is such a perfect example of what they do. You know, I started shaking and bouncing and getting stuck. I turned off traction control, gave it some more gas, let it chew and let it fight its way out of there. And you can see how those side lugs uh, really worked well. And you can see this one actually ended up digging deeper. Look, I've got sand up in here that was thrown up from underneath here. Um, like I said, it was working pretty hard, but you can see how those side lugs make a big difference. So I put those tires on it. I put these little side mirrors on it because this thing tows all the time. I tow my power washing trailer. So I put that on there. I put Sumo Springs in here, uh, which I did a video on my podcast channel for too. But they are uh, the blue up there. If you can see those blue way up there, they are bump stop replacement Sumo Springs. Uh, and it, for, because again, because I tow a 3,000 pound trailer with tremendous tongue weight um, behind this for pressure washing. Uh, so I put those on it. I put this Truxedo tonneau cover on here. This one is awesome because the bars roll up with it. Just super quick and easy. Um, and it rolls up really fast, but the bars come with it. Velcro on the sides and they lock. And it actually locks. So you can, the only way to open or to access this is here. And you pull these little tabs underneath here like this right here. Pull that tab. And pull this tab, and then it rolls, and all the bars go with it. It rolls right up. It's awesome. We'll leave that down for a minute. I'll show you some of that stuff in there. So I put those on. I put Rec Gen 
floor mats. I'll put links to some of the stuff, or not floor mats, but mud guards on the front to protect my truck. That is also the only reason I leave the side steps on. I do not use these side steps to get in and out of the vehicle at all, but they protect my truck from the massive amounts of stones that are flying up. I live in this kind of environment. This is where this truck is, spends all of its time. Gravel roads, dirt roads, mud, muck, sand, loose sand, Georgia, Michigan, everything in between. All this stuff is what my truck spends all of its time on. I want that protection. These boards, these running boards, do not hang down any lower than the frame. As you can see, frame right there behind it. Okay, they're the same height as the frame, and they protect all of my rockers from any stone chips. Ding, ding, and you can hear that. I've actually put on my social media page videos where you can, when I pulled out of some of the WMAs in Georgia, you can hear ting, 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 ting. You can hear all the rocks hitting this as I pull out of there coming up from even below my floor, my uh, mud flaps. What I like about these, these are flexible. So even when I'm stuck, they don't, uh, they're not gonna break off or give me fits. Those are those rec gen uh, mud flaps. But that is the reason I leave the side steps on. Um, if I ever damage them, then I'll take them off. But right now they're sturdy, they're stable, and they are up high again high on the truck so they're not interfering with anything for me and they're offering tremendous protection from the rocks that is the only reason they stay on there uh so those are on there i put led high or uh yeah led high beams it's got projector bulbs in it already for the low beams i leave them but those are led high beams that i have inside of there i will put a link down below for them so i have led high beams that i put in projector low beams and LED fog lights that come from the factory. So it's a beautiful little setup in here and how they got it all, you know, with that kind of stuff. Um, birds catching all the black flies. Trying to think here, uh, what else do we do in the back? I did put in here the auto locking tailgate. So when I hit my key fob, which it doesn't come with, but I did put the factory one in when I hit my key fob and lock it, you'll hear the tailgate. Hear that when I unlock it? That's the tailgate locking and unlocking. So that's a nice feature. Uh, and then I have the uh, rough country. We'll roll this back. I have the rough country uh, panels in here. See how these bars stay with this, locked right in with this when I roll this up. And this was not an expensive tonneau cover. But when I roll this thing up, I have all this extra room and all that's out of the way. And it's got the straps down here to lock it, blah, blah, blah. But that's so nice. It gives you that feature. These are my traction boards, which should be right here. But again, I told you, I just got done beating this thing up pretty hardcore. And this is just my little pipe that would sit there and hold that, that I'll have to readjust. It's not perfect. It's just a shower rod, but usually it works pretty good and keeps them there. Matter of fact, I am out here so much right now. We're just going to leave these down. I'm not using it for much else anyway. But traction boards are a beautiful thing. I leave them stuck up against there. You can see where they sit all year long, pressed in there, uh, works well. The shower rod is working okay on most surfaces, but when you start getting, again, with the washboard that we have here from the side-by-sides and the constant boom, 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 as you drive through here, it's unbelievable. Um, this doesn't work that great. I might get one of the square actual ratcheting ones to keep that pressed up there. But traction boards, you can see I got a panel over there, a couple straps on it. I did have my compressor there, but I use it so much I just moved it inside the car. Um, but that stuff sits right there. And I got another panel on this side with all my other goodies that I need. Off-road stuff, recovery stuff, things like that. But I love these little guards. I put two more of these up in the front on the frame bolts up there. Uh, so real simple, real easy setup. Nothing fancy there. And um, inside, I put RC uh, Rough Country seat covers on it. Again, because of the fact that I am uh, a pressure washer and a hunter and I do all this stuff off-road. I don't want them beat. Look how bad my center console one is already getting beat up. Now this is not a rough country. I bought this right when I got the truck because I knew I would beat this stuff up. But look at how stained up that is already just from, again, because of what I do for work and things. So I wanted seat covers. So I put these in here and I'll put a link for them below, but they protect it well. So all my other camera gear. Um, I'm filming this on my phone because it goes a lot wider than what my Sony does. Um, but this is it right here. You know, it came with the Tacoma floor mats in there. And uh, sweet, simple, and easy. It is a TRD off-road model, so it does have the... Uh, um, you know, the rear locker and the crawl control. Back here, same thing I put in. These are the RC uh, Rough Country seat co covers on here. But again, just protect it from everything. And uh, they work really good. I'm going to tip this. 
more of my recovery gear there's my Zaire pump a couple of tree sta or, uh, straps there soft shackles right here my arb um snatch rope or a snatch strap different than a toe strap this is actually designed to be spring loaded kind of thing to help pull people out but all that stuff stuffed in behind there uh, you know all my gear i got tons of gear in the compartments under here which are incredible under here i got all my tripods i really probably can't get too far into this let me see if i set this right here for a minute that'll give us enough room to flip this up yeah enough probably but i keep tons of extra all kinds of my gear uh things that's a tire repair kit um patch kit right there uh jacks bottle jack extra tripod stuff the other side's full too with all the other gear i'm not getting into get crazy and show you break all those apart there for you but this is uh, i love the storage that is in here gives me a tremendous amount of room again i'm a photographer as well too so they'll stay in there my camera bags go in here this is a spare outfit just in case i rip pants or stain a shirt so i just they got to be cleaned again but i leave those just sit in there but i love the the amount of room you have in this truck for what it is for a small truck love the amount of uh, cup holders that are tremendous in it I love the capability and the durability of it. And uh, gas mileage, not the greatest. I'm getting about, uh, you know, well, depends. If I'm doing, if I do 55 miles an hour, I'll get 21, 22. If I'm doing uh, 65, I drop down to about 20. If I hit 70, I'm at about 19. 75, I'm at about 18. Uh, that kind of thing here. See here. But real simple. Like I said, very capable. Got all my off-road stuff right there for my crawl control and my rear locker. Most important button in a vehicle as far as I'm concerned. You got MTS, which is awesome. You got crawl. I don't ever use crawl. Uh, set up here. You see, you can see the gas mileage range for being off-road here. Uh, like I said, it depends on what you're driving, you know, and how you're going. You can, uh, you, you know, you can see I, sometimes I'm over 20 something there and there and then sometimes like i said you get off road here uh you know you can drop down pretty good in in this nasty thick sand and and washboard and crap like that but uh just a perfect little setup got all the controls you want i love the ect button for pulling my trailer right there you see it on the screen it's like basically tow haul mode cruise control is easy to set up um you know i like the auto lights I put this phone holder in there, which is nice because it sticks it away from there a little bit. There's a spare one for somebody else. Compass in the mirror is nice. Um, like I said, fully functional. I, I, I use this to charge my other camera batteries and plug them in while they're just sitting there. It's just uh, even when the car's off because it's a, uh, um, you know, one of those uh, battery packs. You can see it charges when the car's on. When it's off, it still charges my batteries up for me. So I get camera batteries rolling. And uh, that's it. Sweet, functional and uh in simple in design but such a great vehicle i straight up love it i mean the quality of it the fit and finish of it the capabilities of it is excellent the tires have been good like i said we got almost seventeen thousand miles on them and you can see they still got a tremendous amount of tread life i do rotate them about every seven thousand miles and uh so we shall see but i mean if you know if they're holding up to fifty thousand sixty thousand miles on them uh they're doing good i'll probably maybe buy them again love my falcon ones I love the Falcon Wild Peaks, but these were, were less money, and I'm pretty impressed with them. They're Goodyear Ultra Terrains. You can only get them at Discount Tire, but I uh, have been very well so far, and then uh, that's the setup. But like I said, there's not much I've done to this truck. I kept it basically stock. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot to it because I don't have to. It does everything I need it to do, fully functional. I mean, look at the approach angles on this thing. Okay, I mean, look at approach angle on that. It's phenomenal. Even my hitch I put on here, you notice, because I spent so much time off-road, that even the hitch that I put on, I ended up going with a welded one, not a ball or a ball socket one. See, there is no nut and bolt sticking out of the bottom of that hitch. It's welded on right there. Still 6,000 pound rated hitch, but see that? That way, I don't have a bolt sticking down here like this that's going to drag uh when i on my departure angle when i'm exiting and out here off road see because that would be your lowest part that would hit i don't have that on there now again purposely picked for that reason because i spend so much time in the woods with this truck hunting adventure and scouting making videos doing things i need that capability and uh you know just that little kind of stuff there that makes a big difference so that kind of sums it up, 16,600 miles on it. Would I buy it again in a heartbeat? Do I love it? Yes, I do. Is there anything I'd change on it? A little better fuel mileage wouldn't hurt. Uh, really, other than that, I can't think of nothing. The um, the transfer for the wheels, when you have, uh, we call it brake lock differentials, but uh, 
when one wheel starts slipping and you'll hear it, kick, 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 and it transfers energy, brakes to that one, energy to the other one. Fantastic system. Toyota does it so well. Um, their traction control is incredible. Um, their, the way that their, their computer thinks about off-roading is phenomenal and the way it transfers energy where it's needed. And then, like I said, you have the actual real rear uh, locker, which is a real locker that locks them together, which you can use to your advantage too. Things pretty unstoppable. It's a great vehicle. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little review. Talk to you soon.